Hi, um, I'm here at the Near Death Experience IONS Group, International Association of Near Death Studies, and my name is Darlene Jamin, and I've had a near death experience, and what you're seeing behind me is my artwork that has to do with a near death experience. In 1984, I was scuba diving off the island of Catalina, and um, about 60 feet down, I started to hyperventilate. And by hyperventilating, I slowly, slowly started to die. My fingers and my toes could not be moved, and my lungs started to collapse, and I went into a full death. And as I died, I uh, went down, I felt like I was being pushed by thousands and thousands of bubbles. And as I died, I thought I was being rescued. I thought, oh my God, somebody's found me. And I, these bubbles surrounded me. And I thought they were my scuba diving bubbles, but they weren't. They were like orbs and beautiful, and they carried me as very, very extremely fast. And I was on this trip with these bubbles, and I realized that I can I couldn't see my fingers, I couldn't see my fingers, I couldn't see my hands or my legs, and I realized that I had no body. I could see on top of me and below me, around me, and all sides of me, and there was no me. I was one of these bubbles. Inside these incredible beautiful bubbles, it was like a kaleidoscope of color, moving and alive. Each, each bit of the clavis so was was alive and it was um, it's hard to explain but there were all these marvelous colors and lights and then there was music music that sounded like heaven and I was part of that I was part of the one and all um, I'm an artist and so when I came back to my body I wanted to describe what it felt like to be dead and to be in the light. And it was not only beautiful, but the energy was tremendous. It was like having, like being on top of a billion orgasms all at once. Because of the energy, it, I, I could see that since there was nothing physical about me, I would survive in this incredible energy. I could survive. With, with all of this energy pulling and pushing at me, and the energy was all love, just pure, gorgeous love, and I was one with it. After the near-death experience, I wound up in a strange place. I wound up in Fintorn, which is in Scotland, and uh, because I had a spiritual breakdown, it took seven years to really come back to myself. And they took care of me in Fintorn, and I got my English passport, and I had to come back to the United States to to confirm my passport. And as when I came back, there was right in the middle of the AIDS crisis. And I um, volunteered to teach death and dying to all of the people that were having that were with AIDS, with who had AIDS and HIV. And with Marianne Williamson, Louise Haig had a hay ride. We were all out there, and it was part of part of why I was came here, came back.